Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be guiding you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up TLS tunnel payload settings using private servers. By the end of this video, you'll not only learn how to configure the TLS tunnel app, but also how to create your own private servers for a smooth and secure VPN connection. So let's get started. First of all, download and install the TLS tunnel app. Open the Play Store. Type TLS Tunnel in the search bar. And select the app from the results. Tap Download and wait for it to finish installing. Once installed, launch the TLS Tunnel app, and you will land on the home screen. Now, we need to create private servers to use with TLS Tunnel. You can always test the default servers, but for better stability and speed, private servers are recommended. To do this, open any browser and search for UDP Custom. From the results, tap on the official UDP Custom website, which will take you to the home page. Next, tap on the menu icon located on the left side, then select SSH servers. You'll see different options, but since we need SSL servers, tap on the SSL servers menu to proceed. On the new page, you'll find a form where you need to enter a username and password. Complete the reCAPTCHA and tap on Create Server. Wait for about 10 seconds and your server will be ready. Once your server is created, return to the TLS Tunnel app. On the home screen, tap on the server option to expand the menu. You will see three types of servers, official servers from TLS Tunnel, premium servers for subscribers, and private servers. Select private servers to continue. Here, you need to enter the details of the server you just created, server IP, port, username, and password. Once everything is entered correctly, tap on the Apply button to save the configuration. This will take you back to the home screen. Now let's configure the payload settings. On the left side of the home screen, tap on the pencil icon to access advanced settings. Next, tap on the arrow icon to open protocol settings. From the connection method, choose custom method. After this, check the box labeled payload to enable payload settings. In the payload field, enter a valid payload string. I won't show the exact payload in this video, but you can visit my blog for detailed instructions and working payload examples. Once you've entered the payload, save the settings. Finally, go back to the main screen and tap on the Start button to connect. You will see logs on the right side that show the connection status. If it doesn't connect, double-check the port and server details. Once connected, you can verify your new IP address by visiting the UDP Custom Websites tool section. That's it! You've successfully set up TLS Tunnel with private server payload settings. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials.